I was looking at some Wiggins props. Uh, he went under his point total last time at 16 and a half. He's... I was thinking about points and rebounds, though. He's got a bunch of rebounds in this series. So Wiggins had five rebounds last game, 11 the game before, five, five, and he finished the last series with 11. So he's had f- f- at least five in every game, and he threw an 11 in there. My he's problem... at 20, 23 and a half points and rebounds. My problem with the Wiggins props, it seems like even though he's having an impressive series, he's always right around the number. Right around. I want guys that that have that higher ceiling where you're going to see see him pop, and it's not going to be, you know, going to come down to the final minute. Are they going to be on the on the court? Is it going to be another blowout? And that right. That's another reason. That is a reason for betters that the series has stunk. Like you made the case that, well, because of betting, it's actually helping the NBA a little bit because most people are turning the game off, and that's a fair point. But uh, as far as handicapping going in. How do you how do you handicap props if you play overs and uh, it, every game's a blowout? So there's no reason for these good players to play in the fourth quarter to get over on those props. It's fair. I mean, and, and you're right about the, the overs and how they're close, especially Wiggins points. So he's averaged in this series, just to put this prop in a perspective, he's averaged in the four games 25, a little over, shade over 25 points plus rebounds per game. That's his yeah. average. It's 23 and a half on the number tonight. So a little bit above. I I, I like that one, though it's not mm-hmm. like you're not getting – it's not an easy over. But mm-hmm. I just like that he's – it's his baseline is five rebounds. Then he had the 111 game. So, like, if he hits five rebounds and you like the points over anyway, I mean, he's yeah. probably there. 